My name is Richard Hindley. I'm a consultant urologist. I specialise in BPH um, and patients with benign prostate enlargement, and I would see over 500 patients in a year with symptoms due to prostate enlargement. I perform in the order of 300 operations or procedures for BPH every year, and I was the first surgeon in the UK to perform the resume water vapour treatment for symptomatic BPH. This is a new minimally invasive surgical treatment. It has been around now for about six years or more in the US, and I performed the first case in the UK in March 2017. The advantage of this treatment over, over its rivals, uh, over the other minimally invasive treatments, and over bigger operations such as the TURP procedure, as that it, uh, is that it has a very favorable side effect profile. It's quick to perform, it's a safe procedure. Uh, the results and the symptomatic improvement is predictable, and it comes with a very low side effect profile. Who would be eligible for a, a, a resume treatment? Well, typically that would be a man, let's say aged 50 to 70 or 75, who was concerned about his treatment potentially upsetting sexual function. So it would be a man in that age range looking for symptomatic improvement. He may have completed one of the um, questionnaires that we use, the International Prostate Symptom Questionnaires. And if the score is, let's say, over 13, um, it, you know, those patients generally are looking at having uh, an intervention. Some men will already have tried medication, but they may not have got on with the medication, or they may wish simply to avoid taking medication because increasingly the side effects of the medications are worse than the side effects associated with the minimally invasive treatments that are on offer. So going back to resume, it's quick to perform. It takes about 20 minutes. Um, it can be performed under local anesthetic with some sedation or under a general anesthetic. As a day case, men tend to spend about five or six hours in the clinic or the hospital where they're having that treatment on the day before being discharged home with a, a temporary soft tube called a catheter, which they have removed usually about five days, seven days after the procedure. Although the improvement in symptoms isn't, isn't so immediate with Resume, um, there is a predictable slow and steady improvement in symptoms um, over the first three to six months. And one positive aspect to it is that the likelihood of needing further treatment or retreatment within the first five years is relatively low, and that's from the data um, that has come back from one of the trials performed in the in the US called the, the Pivotal 2 study. And that's also been my own personal experience. I've performed over 500 cases now in the UK over uh, the last three, and three years and nine months. Um, it's not suitable for everybody. If the gland volume is very large, certainly in excess of 100 mils, then the reality is other options are probably better. Having said that, um, there aren't many minimally invasive surgical therapies or treatments that one could offer to a man with a very large prostate gland. Um, and so unfortunately, men with very large prostate glands sometimes have to accept a higher rate of side effects uh, from, their, from their surgery. Most men that come to see me either don't want to have a, the standard TURP procedure or are particularly looking to have resume or a combination of both. Uh, when I see them, it's important that I uh, point out um, what all the other options are so that they have an understanding of, of, of the trade-off, if you like, with symptom improvement uh, and, and the side effect profiles. We would tend to expect a, a point, symptom point reduction of about 10 to 15 points uh, by six months. And we've done overall patient satisfaction responses and had uh, a 90% very satisfied or satisfied um, responses at six months having had resume um, treatment. So, um, you know, it, it's a welcome addition to the portfolio of treatment options available uh, for men with troublesome urinary symptoms who have tried medication or who want to avoid medication and are looking for a, a low risk treatment that's relatively straightforward to perform um, with early return to normal activities. Um, it's worth pointing out that no treatment is without its problems. There, is, there can be a risk of bleeding and infection, 
but these things can usually be dealt with and what men are more worried about is the long-term harm and that's very unlikely with Resume. Resume has a very favorable side effect profile but what, what do we mean by side effect profile? Well the, the two main issues that tend to concern men are will this treatment potentially upset sexual function and might it cause problems with regards to incontinence, you know, urinary control problems. If we focus on the sexual function, sexual function and enjoyment is, is a combination, you know, the factors that are important are orgasm, well that's got nothing to do with this bit of the male anatomy, so that is preserved, but erectile quality, quality of the erection is at risk with some of the bigger procedures such as a TURP, and also the ejaculation fluid, the force and the volume of ejaculation may already be impeded either because of the aging process and the growth of the prostate or as a result of the medication which patients are often taking when I see them. So, you know, th these are the things that are concerning to men and I would run through the risks of those. They're very low with Resume. Um, a small proportion of men do see a reduction in ejaculatory fluid volume and the force of ejaculation, uh, but it, we haven't had any new cases of men reporting a, a significant deterioration in the quality of the erection after the treatment, which is, which is a very positive thing. And in terms of the urinary control, um, what we don't want to do is cause um, problems with men leaking urine if they're exercising or coughing or sneezing. We call it stress urinary incontinence. Um, we haven't had any cases of that thus far. It is certainly very unusual. What we are really hoping to do is to avoid any upset to the urinary control, and, and, uh, um, but th that's, that's not going to happen with Resume. It's, it's uncommon with the other treatments, um, but it's not unheard of, and so that's certainly uh, a concern to men. And some are keen to avoid having a general anaesthetic if possible. Um, in these difficult times with the COVID-19 pandemic, I think the importance of getting in and out of hospital quickly can't be overstated, and that would be something that some men are also um, worried about or, or focused on in, in terms of deciding which treatment they'd like to proceed with. The questionnaire that we ask men to complete before having prostate treatments, the IPSS questionnaire, scores range from between 0 to 35. 35 would be severe symptoms, a score of 0 would mean no symptoms at all, um, and most men uh, having look who are looking at having a treatment will have a score of over 13 let's say the average symptom score of men that i've done um, most of my prostate surgery on is around about 20 uh, and we would tend to see a drop of 10 to 15 points by six months in that symptom questionnaire um, that would translate to a sort of noticeable improvement in their symptoms for example perhaps previously they were getting up three or four times at night and then um, after the treatment, they're getting up once or twice at night. Um, the, 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 the force of the flow would improve the frequency of urination and the ability to empty their bladder. So a 10 or 15 point reduction translates to a, a symptom improvement, which is greater than that that we would see with medication. Um, and, you know, nine times out of 10, it, you know, translates to a significant improvement in quality of life.